This demo is intended to show how software and technology companies typically model subscription waterfalls in Adaptive. You can see the metrics laid out on the left-hand side, and it often look like a, the cash flow uh, sort of view of the book of business, where you start with a beginning balance, um, and that can be ARR, ACV, MRR, however you think about the business. Then they'll add uh, net new coming in that gets uh, added during the period. Then look at the churn, upsell, and, and retention that happens on the existing base, uh, and then get to a closing balance uh, at the end, which then of course seeds the beginning balance for the subsequent period. And this can work just like Excel. You can type in numbers or you can build formulas, uh, but more commonly what we'll see customers do is have them build detailed schedules uh, where they look at the underlying drivers behind each of these uh, assumptions. If you scroll down a little bit here, you can see the various approaches that uh, oftentimes customers undertake to look at the net new coming in. So that could be a price volume time approach, uh, potentially looking at rep capacity and quotas uh, attainment. It could be a raw pipeline uh, out of the CRM system. And if I drill down into the price volume schedule here, you can see uh, new logos or units uh, times a price or ASP per deal. And I can look at that uh, across uh, different products or potentially even industries. And if I wanted to uh, edit that assumption and, and run a what-if scenario, uh, in this case adding, say, 10 deals uh, and spreading that across the various industries, you can see the total uh, move up to uh, 315. And I can see what the impact uh, that would be uh, across the business. And if I scroll down here a little further, you can see uh, I've built uh, actually a trigger uh, to select uh, the different mechanisms and, and toggle between them if I wanted to um, have that ability, or, or potentially coverage ratios so I can look at the interplay between the different uh, methodologies that I've built out here. And if I continue down to the bottom here, I can look at the renewals piece. So. Uh, model essentially the uh, book of business that's coming up for renewal, uh, apply churn assumptions, uh, retention assumptions at either an aggregate level uh, down on the bottom, uh, or potentially even dive in down into the individual schedule of opportunities uh, and look at those uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. And you can see um, each of these uh, contracts has start dates, end dates, and ACV contract amount. Uh, and then actually an individual uh, retention assumption potentially. Well, I hope that was helpful in terms of understanding how software and technology companies uh, look at subscription waterfalls.